afraid to say they were right. Suicide killing is on the increase across the world. We are almost defenseless against it. The leader of the Tamil Tigers often describes the suicide bomber as a person whose mind is made out of steel and the heart is like the petals of a flower. What turns the activist into someone who's prepared and willing to lay down his life so that others may die? Youngish fervor, enthusiasm, patriotism, and making sure that it ends really in suicide, that there is no going back, there is no regret. On September the 11th, 2001, suicide killers scored their most spectacular hit. Nineteen young Islamic fundamentalists who were part of the Al-Qaeda network struck at the heart of Western society. 2,800 people died and one of America's most potent symbols of power was obliterated. The awesome and terrible effects of suicide killing resonated across the world. Resonated across the world. And there was smoke everywhere and people were jumping out the windows. Over there they're jumping out the windows, I guess, because they're trying to see themselves. I don't know. This mass terrorism is the new evil in our world. The people who perpetrate it have no regard, whatever, for the sanctity or value of human life. There are no adequate words of condemnation. Their barbarism will stand as their shame for all eternity.